Hi, my name is Mark Economou. I am a competitive bodybuilder, fitness nut, and mammoth athlete. In December of 2018, Mammoth Supplements released Mammoth Meal to the world, and that's where this story begins. Mammoth has given me a challenge to survive on nothing but Mammoth Meal for 30 days straight. I can use other Mammoth products, and if I want to, I can add other ingredients to my Mammoth Meal shake. I've never done anything like this before, and I'm looking forward to taking you with me on my journey. Mammoth athlete Mark Economou here, and welcome to day three of the Mammoth Meal Challenge. Not much sleep in me today, but full of energy. Let's get this. So I've got about an hour left of my 12-hour uh, shift I'm working today. So one thing I want to highlight behind Mammoth Meal is the convenience factor. So for myself and a lot of you guys out there, we're eating, you know, every two and a half hours. So that's food you got to buy, food you got to make, food you got to bring with you, and that's even food you got to take time to eat. Now with Mammoth Meal, on the other hand, you can simply mix up a few scoops and within minutes be getting those same nutrients. Uh, just without all the time required. I know for myself it's made it a lot easier and I'm sure for you guys it will too. So what I'd recommend is giving this a try and seeing what you guys think. You guys are going to notice it's going to save you a lot of time. A lot of time. And let me tell you time is valuable so when you can be saving time it's almost better than saving money. We're approaching midnight here and I'm about to have my last meal of the day. Um, but I did get a box here from True Local. Now I have a subscription with True Local where I get a box every single month and basically their service provides the best locally sourced meats. Uh, they're all local to where you live. So here in Ontario, we all get them from Ontario farms, but they're also available in Alberta as well as in British Columbia. I highly recommend you guys check them out, but I'll be showing you guys a little bit of what they, uh, they sent me this month and a little bit of what I will not be eating.
Now, as much as I'd love to just cook all this meat up right now, make like six to eight meals for tomorrow to eat, and just enjoy them, you know what? I'm gonna be enjoying the mammoth meal for the next month, so I'm not gonna to touch any of this until February, that is. Come February, I'm gonna kill it all. But for now, this stuff's getting packed away. So one thing I wanna highlight about mammoth meal as well is the easy dough system. Basically how that works is per one scoop, you get 100 calories, 10 grams of protein, 10 grams of carb, and about two and a half grams of fat. So this is what the scoop looks like. Nothing crazy, not overly big. So for me, what that means for day three of the challenge is I had 26 of those scoops, and that's what I consumed today. So that gave me a total of 2,600 calories, 260 grams of protein, and 260 grams of carb. And that also leaves me with just under 60 grams of fat. Now, it's very, very simple to measure how much nutrients you're taking in with this easy dose system, so it's not overly complicated. One scoop is 100 calories, 10 grams of protein, 10 grams of carb. Day three is now done and over with. I'm feeling pretty good after only getting meal into me for the third straight day in a row. Uh, cravings are slowly, slowly creeping up on me, getting stronger, but I mean, nothing I haven't handled, handled before, nothing too strong. Uh, I'm still noticing I'm leaning out pretty good. Obviously, I don't want to lean out crazy, crazy fast. All right, guys, and that's a wrap. I'm feeling pretty good for day three, and I'm excited to take you all with me onto day four and show you guys what I have in store for you.